In order to return accurate results, Renishaw Laser Tool Setter software uses several stored offsets that are determined during the calibration cycle. By using a master tool with a known tool length and known tool diameter for calibration, a reference standard is generated by which the length and diameter of other tools can be determined. You should calibrate your laser if you have noticed the laser tool setter is not returning accurate results. To calibrate a laser tool setter, you must run the calibration program using a master tool with a known length and a known diameter. Obtain a master tool. A master tool has a known tool length from the taper gauge line and a known diameter. Load this tool into the spindle. Find program number 8502, which will typically be titled Beam Calibrate, or something similar to that, and set it as the active program in the machine. The tool length and diameter values must be loaded in the tool offset page. In the tool offset page, input the length of the master tool into the length geometry column for the tool number that is currently in the spindle. The tool diameter will be loaded into the radius or diameter geometry column for the same tool number. Regardless of whether your machine uses diameter or radius offsets, you will input the tool diameter into the offset column. Clean the tip of the master tool thoroughly with a lint-free cloth. The tip should be completely clean, with no chips, coolant, or oil remaining. The calibration cycle should not be run if the inside of the machine is wet with coolant from recent machining. Calibration should only take place after the inside of the machine has completely dried to avoid calibration inaccuracies due to potential coolant drippage into the beam. Press cycle start to begin running program 8502. The machine will begin measuring the master tool in the laser. Once the program is finished, the calibration process is complete. The laser tool setter is now ready to be used again.